I'm surprised all this stuff got taken out and broken up, but the ejector yeah, rod's still there. It's that, still got the round button. It's, that's uh, pretty rare. Hey, what's happening, Justin? Oh, long time no What are you doing over here? Doing good. Nice to see you. My name is Justin Green. I run a secondhand consignment shop down in Colorado Springs. The majority of my business is firearms and edge weaponry. And I'm here to have an item evaluated. I don't know a whole lot about it. One of my regulars brought in a box of just miscellaneous, really cool stuff. Yeah. I'm going through the box, and at the bottom, I find this thing. It looks to be maybe part of an ax or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. People come in, they bring in a little piece of metal or a chunk of a gun or something, they go, what is this? Well, how, how do I know what it is? But fortunately, I got Bob here. And a lot of times, that little thing, he knows exactly what it is. Well, it's obviously blacksmith made. And with these holes on here, I almost have to wonder if it was for a pistol axe, for a, oh, one oh, of those like medieval. A musket. Yeah. A pistol axe. It's a pistol that had a tool on the front of it that was an axe, like a today's multi tool. The axe gun dates from medieval times, and it was during a period of transition from bladed weapons to firearms. They really didn't trust the firearms, so they built firearms with the weapons they were familiar with built right on the firearms. <laughs> but what could we do with something like this? Could we bring it back to life? Yeah. We can make anything. Okay. He's got an idea what he wants. It's in his head. I got to get it out of his head, make it bigger and badder, so when I hand it to him, I can see his eyes pop wide open, and he's in love. You know, it could have been put on anything. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. on cannons or mortar. Hard to swing, but yeah. A mortar? Back in the pre-revolutionary war days, they had what was called a shoulder mortar. It was like a short musket with a bronze thing on the end of it. But I've never seen one with an ax blade on it. How would you swing it? Bro? I don't know. That sounds pretty cool to me. So you want us to make a, an ax blade yeah. on a mortar? Yeah. That'd be that, kind of cool. Be that sounds big, pretty awesome. Powerful. I, th I think the mortar sounds up my alley. We could do whatever you want, no doubt okay. about it. Axe mortar just to me makes no sense whatsoever. We're talking about two separate periods. I really like to stick to the actual pure historic value of a gun when we're making it, but with this one, it doesn't fit any particular mold. It's what the customer wants, so we're going to make it, and that gives us creative license to do whatever we want.